friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my WW Air Fryer series. I cannot wait to share these two recipes with you. They are so good. My husband loved both of them, so they are both husband approved, which it's a two for two, that's pretty good. So they are both WW friendly. You can make them in your air fryer. If you do not have an air fryer, no fear, you can go ahead and cook them in your oven. Same temperature, just you may have to cook them a little bit longer. And of course they may not get as crispy as they do in the air fryer, but you can still recreate both of these recipes in your traditional oven. So if you wanna see the two recipes that I have in store for you for this episode of the WW Air Fryer series, then just keep watching. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are going to be making cauliflower rice aaron sini, and we're gonna pair that with some chicken and a vegetable. So the chicken that I'm gonna be using is this Tyson blackened chicken strips. These are delicious. These are from Costco. I'm sure you can get them at other stores, but I picked them up at my local Costco, and they are so good. They're already cooked, so you literally just warm them up. I'm just gonna pop them in my air fryer with the rest of my dinner, but they are so incredibly delicious and they are zero smart points. And for our cauliflower arancini, you are going to need some marinara sauce, breadcrumbs, salt, one egg, cauliflower rice, shredded mozzarella cheese, some sort of a sausage. We're gonna do these Sam's Choice chicken apple and some Parmesan cheese. So let's get started on tonight's air fryer dinner. The first thing that we are going to do is remove as much of the casing as you can from your sausage, and we're gonna go ahead and fry it up in a pan here until it gets cooked most of the way through. Once you get your sausage most of the way cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add in our riced cauliflower. I'm going to add the whole bag. It does call for two and a quarter cups. We're also going to add in two tablespoons of our marinara, and then we're going to add in just a little bit of salt, and we're gonna stir this together. We're gonna let this cauliflower rice get com cooked completely through before we move on to the next step. Once your cauliflower rice is cooked through, you are going to add your one half of a cup of your light mozzarella. We are actually going to remove this from the heat and we're just gonna stir that until our mozzarella cheese is melted and combined, yum. And we are just gonna let this sit for just a few minutes until the rice mixture is cool enough to handle because we are gonna be rolling this into balls. But doesn't that look so good? Once your cauliflower rice mixture is nice and cool, I went ahead and grabbed out just a sheet of parchment paper here, and we are going to take our mixture and we want to roll it into six balls. So you wanna make sure that your balls are as even as possible, about a quarter of a cup of the mixture, and we're just going to roll those together. They actually hold their shape really nicely because of the cheese that's been added to them. So we're gonna roll those out and set those aside, and then we're gonna dip them in our egg, cheese, and breadcrumb mixture. Once you have your cauliflower balls, go ahead and beat one egg, and in an additional bowl, we're gonna add one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, and one quarter cup of breadcrumbs. And we're just gonna give that a quick mix. Then you're going to take your cauliflower ball. We're gonna dip it first into our egg mixture. And then we're gonna dip it into our breadcrumb mixture. You wanna get it nice and coated and be careful because it does wanna lose its shape in the breadcrumbs. You might just kinda have to reform it, but that's what your cauliflower rice ball should look like when it's done. And then we're just going to add that here to the sheet for my air fryer. Now, if you have the drawer or whatever the other regular kind of air fryer is, the basket style, I couldn't think of the word, then you would wanna add these balls directly into the basket of your air fryer. Kind of, I just have the oven style, uh, so I'm gonna add them here to my baking sheet, and I'm just gonna do that until all six of my arancini balls are ready to go. So here are our completed cauliflower rice arancini balls. 
These look absolutely delicious. And then over on this tray, I've added some of those Tyson blackened chicken strips. And I'm gonna pop both of these into my air fryer at 400 for about 15 minutes. All right, everything is in the air fryer. I'm going to rotate my racks. If you do have the drawer style, you want will wanna shake it about halfway through, turn over the rice balls and shake up your chicken as well. Everything just came out of the air fryer. Look at these, yum. And then our blackened chicken looks amazing as well. So a serving is three of these rice balls. It is actually only two servings, so three per serving. So let me go ahead and get this all plated up and I'll show you tonight's dinner and give you the smart points. So here is our completed dinner for tonight. I have one serving of the blackened chicken from Tyson for zero smart points. I have three of the cauliflower rice arancini balls. That is a total of six smart points for all three. And then I have just a little bit of marinara for dipping. I'm gonna be counting that as zero only because we're just gonna be dipping the rice balls into that so it won't even equal probably more than a tablespoon or two so this is tonight's dinner and it is a total of six smart points for tonight's air fryer dinner we are going to be making parmesan meatballs in our air fryer these sound delicious and i'm going to pair that with some pasta some sauce and some vegetables so first let me show you what is in our parmesan meatballs so first you're going to need some italian style breadcrumbs these are just the Kroger brand. These are actually really good. I actually like these better than the name brand. So if you have a Fred Meyer or a Kroger, great breadcrumbs. You'll also need some Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. You can either use fresh parsley or dried and some minced onion, minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, eggs, in 96.4 extra lean ground beef, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Trader Joe's. And then we are going to pair ours with some sauce. I'm gonna do the Classico tomato and basil. Unfortunately, I am out of my skinniest dish, crock pot marinara. I definitely need to make some more of that. So I'm gonna have that, and my husband is going to have roasted garlic Parmesan Alfredo on his pasta. And for pasta, of course, I'm gonna be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Elbows. We were debating if we wanted spaghetti noodles or elbows, and we decided on elbows. Fiber Gourmet pasta is amazing. You can have two ounces for only three smart points. Traditional pasta is anywhere from five to six smart points for two ounces, so it is half the smart points. It is absolutely amazing. It does not taste any different than regular pasta. In fact, we think, my husband and I both, think this is better than traditional pasta and it is so low points, so good. So we're gonna go ahead and have it with the Fiber Gourmet Light Elbows. You can order Fiber Gourmet off of the Nutrition website and down in the description box is a link. It'll take you directly to Nutrition's website and you can order your pasta. There is no discount code, but it is kind of a way for me to track and see what you guys are ordering so I know what to order and what to show in my video. So definitely use my link to order the Fiber Gourmet pasta and we're gonna pair that with some sugar snap pea stir fry for veggies. So let's get started on our meatballs. First thing we're gonna do is put together our meatballs. While our meatballs are cooking, we will do our pasta. So I have my one pound of extra lean ground beef. To that, I'm going to add one third cup of the Italian breadcrumbs. I'm also going to add about one teaspoon of minced garlic. You can always add more if you are a garlic lover. I also have about a tablespoon of parsley. We're gonna do a little bit of salt. Of course, that's gonna bring out a lot of the flavor in the meatballs. And we're also going to do a little bit of pepper as well. We have two eggs. This is a really easy recipe. And we have about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And we have about a quarter cup, maybe a little bit less, more like an eighth of a cup of minced onion. And lastly, we have a quarter cup of fresh Parmesan cheese. And then we are going to just mix this all together until fully combined. And then you'll either put these meatballs into your air fryer basket, or in my case, it goes onto the racks of my air fryer. So I'm gonna get this all mixed up and then we'll be ready to roll out our meatballs. So it's time to roll our meatballs. Look at how delicious that mixture looks. So I want a total of eight servings. So I'm gonna 
get 16 meatballs at least out of my pound. Now you can always do more. You'll just accommodate for the points that way. But my goal is to get about 16 meatballs out of this pound of hamburger. So I'm going to roll them and I'm going to just put them on my grease sheet here that goes into my air fryer. So let's get 16 meatballs rolled out. Here are our 16 meatballs. I did go ahead and spray the top of them with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray that will help them brown up really nicely in the air fryer. So we're ready to get these into the air fryer and then we will get our pasta cooking. Alrighty, our meatballs are officially into the air fryer. So we're gonna go ahead and set our air fryer at 350 degrees and we want this to go for 13 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna start it at 13 and we'll check in on our meatballs about halfway through, see how they're coming along, possibly rearrange the shelf and flip them in the cooking process. So let's get our pasta boiling on the stove. Once your pasta comes to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and add in our package of Fiber Gourmet Light Elbows, and we're gonna go ahead and let these cook down all the way. I like my pasta just a little bit al dente, just so that it's not super smushy and gooey in my pasta. So my light elbows are cruising right along. And then I've got my package of frozen vegetables. I've added a little bit of water and I'm gonna go ahead and pop those into the microwave. Also what's left of my marinara and the Alfredo sauce. So I'll cover those and put those in the microwave as well. I just pulled the meatballs out of the air fryer, you guys. Look at how incredible these look. Perfectly crispy and brown. So I'm gonna let these cool for just a moment. The pasta is done, the veggies are in the microwave. I'll put together our plate and give you the smart points. So here is my completed dinner for tonight. I am incredibly excited for this dinner. So I have one serving of my vegetables. I have a little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper. So that is zero points. I have one serving of the Fiber Gourmet Elbows for three points. One half of a cup of the Classico spaghetti sauce for two points and one serving which is two of the meatballs for three points so this is a total of three for the meatballs three for the pasta two for the sauce is an eight smart point dinner eight smart points guys for pasta with meatballs. Thank you for joining me in another episode of my WW Air Fryer series. I hope you enjoyed these two recipes as much as we did. We loved both dinners so much. The meal, meatballs would be a really good meal prep as well. If you're looking for a lower point meal prep, you could even swap out the 96.4 lean ground beef for fat-free turkey breast and make them lower point. So lots of options. They were delicious. You could serve them with just about anything loved them. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. That way you're not missing a single video. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know, are you going to try these recipes and which one or both of them are you most excited to try? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.